um, go live. There we go. Now it's it's going, guys. I know we're live, everyone. Give us one minute. We're going to wait until 1130 hits. We got here early. All right, it is now officially 1130. And I want to welcome everyone to week eight of the Tinker Code Jam 2020. It's actually our last week. And we're really, really excited with some of these projects today. We will be back, though. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this at the end uh, to announce the grand prize winners. But let me in introduce our judges. Vidya, do you want to go first? Sure. Hi, I'm Vidya, and I had a fantastic time with your AR submissions. Great work. Hey, everyone. I'm Roland from the Tinker Dev team. Uh, great job this week. I'm Jeff from the Tinker Dev team. The games are really fun and interesting. Vidya, you want to you wanna remind everybody how we judge? Because you guys spend a lot of time looking at all these projects. Sure. Uh, maybe the last time, huh? or maybe the <laughs> second last time. Yeah, so we got the grand time, prize. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, uh, we have four main areas that we concentrate on. Um, originality, creativity, your type of coding that you do, and the theme. And, you know, um, this is the last week of the competition, but, uh, you know, hope to see more submissions uh, coming in. Keep it up. Definitely. Okay, so before we get started, we got a little extra special uh, sound effect here. And everybody, drum roll. All right, so let's get started with our winners. Give me two seconds to cue this up. And we're going to start with the first winner. I'm going to share my screen with everybody. And here we go. So Swap to Fly by Turtle. This is a really cool game. It makes a good use of the flailing arms around style of AR games. And it also has a really funny cutscene at the end. That's too real. The fly is eating your food. was amazing all right our second winner is let me pause this guy and our second winner is our boom. second winner is a person who codes for ar ping pong so this is a great ar ping pong game and it was a lot of fun to play um i love sort of the sense of scale that they have here there's like depth to it <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I love the sound effect too. Yeah, it's amazing. Good thing to do with that social distancing, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good workout right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving up. <laughs> well done. Well done. All right. So we got uh, our next winner uh, for this week is. We have a drum roll. No, third. no, we're going to do another drum roll when we get the first place. <laughs> this one is Einstein's Child. And this was a really cool one. I loved the instructions on it, the custom artwork, um, you know, the whole explosion animation is everything is custom. I really loved it. I think the ping pong's going in the background. Apologize about that, Einstein's child. <laughs> I'll cut that off in a minute. You can really see all the instructions right here with all the artwork. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, very cool. It'll even let you test your um, your camera. 
So you stand there and you sort of check it out and uh, you make sure you're at the right distance to grab the fruits and squash them. <laughs> and again, this is another good workout. <laughs> oh, and it's still going. Uh, you can play again. It's getting the hang of it. Yep. And you can see that whole thing is custom. Every, everything is hand drawn. I really liked it. Very, very cool. The tomato. Oh, apple. <laughs> That's great. All right. I'm going to make sure ping pong isn't playing anymore. Let me make pause ping pong here. Good, it's not playing. And the next winner for this week is? So this is Phantom Kid Gaming with Pug Pet. It's a very cute virtual pet, uh, simple, but they got five animations and it's a really good idea that's well executed. Look how cute it is oh. when you move it and animate it. Wish my dog did that. <laughs> It does a roll too. It rolls over. <laughs> that was great. All right, we got um, two more winners before the grand prize winners. And of course, we'll announce all the winners. We can't show everyone, but we will uh, announce everybody. And the next winner for this week is? Digital Jedi for this uh, dino hatching project. I love the hand-drawn dinosaurs that come out of the eggs and you break them. And then there's a, an awesome surprise at the end. It looks like they come out running. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. And the next winner is? Chris G. With this really cool implementation of a space shooter. It's very fun. And they've got some uh, cool stuff going on with collision detection and using vectors to set the positions. And as you can tell, right, the team is having so much fun with these AR games. See, if you all learn to code, you've become developers at Tinker and play AR games all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to have um, a list now of some of the other winners that we couldn't uh, show everybody's project, but you can check them all out on Tinker on the Code Jam page. So video, who else won this week? Ooh, we have some more winners. Uh, Showy Braid, Hasty Rock, RCT1504, Evanescent Rust. And then we have Creative Painter, who's a winner. Wonder Girl, another winner. Nerio the Ninja, Epic Puppy 613, and Darth Vader. Congratulations, everybody who won. And now we have uh, the grand prize winner for the week. And of course, we got to have one more. Drum roll. And the grand prize winner for the week is. Is LOL2 with this really fun ball sorting game project. This project kind of blew us away because not only is it fun, it makes clever use. From our homes of, to yours, as your collaborators, creative partners, and the AR solvers, blocks to make a custom ball. Look at how it's based on the ball. Got a great mic that'll work perfect for that. As always, Hang on a sec, guys. I want to get plans, them the full dues in. My drum roll decided to make more noise. So hang on. We're going to play this over because it is so cool. Okay. And let me make it full screen and you tell them all about it. My drum okay, roll Okay, so this way. project blew us away because it used the... AR blocks to actually take your face and make it into a ball. Look at look at that. Look how cool that is. Customize. So it uses your computer's yeah. camera feed and then uses the mask video block and the switch costume to video frame 
and make your face into a ball. It was very cool, and you should do more of this. Wow. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, those are our winners for the week. They're really, really amazing. And Vidya, you're going to tell us a little bit about what's coming up. Yeah, so we're done with this eight weeks of Coach Um, you know, and we had a lot of fun, um, why, you know, with the submissions. And it's time for the grand prize winner. $2,000 for the first prize. Second place is $1,000 USD. And third prize is $500. But gosh, this is going to be hard work for us. We have a lot of projects to review, you know. So check back with us on the Code Jam page to find out, you know, when we will announce these winners. Give us some time. It's going to be really hard for us to decide the grand prize winner. So please give us some time. Check back with us. And Terry, um, you can tell them where to look for the information. Yeah, the Code Jam page is up and running, and we'll put an announcement on that page on when we're ready to announce the grand prize. It won't be, you know, terribly long, but give us a little time, like video said. And also, we'll put it on social media. So follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll announce there as well. And you'll make sure we'll make sure we get you guys involved, and we want everybody to hear about the grand prize winners. Right. All right. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned. More to come. Grand prize. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs>